Good evening, City Council. Thank you for having me. My name is Rob Wilson. I work for Fleet Services. I'm here to speak on behalf of Fleet Services. Tuesday, you received a presentation by MAG on our compensation study. To say it has been a hot topic would be an understatement. One concern we have is we were moved up a pay grade. For many of us, we started at the bottom of the pay grade very recently. Because of this, many will be pay jumped when new hires come in. According to an ordinance we found, when an employee makes a pay grade, moves up a pay grade, a 7% increase in salary should follow. Another concern is many of us have waited patiently for these results and to say it was disappointing would be an understatement. From what I've seen, this study's objective was to help with recruitment. As a whole for employees with lower years of service, it has done nothing to help with the issues we are facing. This study treats the symptoms, but not the illness. The true issue that needs to be addressed is how do we keep the employees we have and how do we help them prosper? Without retention, recruiting is fruitless. Many will say the benefits make up the pay deficit. This couldn't be further from the truth. Many of the younger employees like myself can't afford to do anything with the time off that we are given. The retirement is not what it used to be. In a career where my body is my main tool, this significantly shortens the time that we will be able to stay in that career. For mechanics, the effective, the effective working order, working years do not match the retirement that is supplied. Our main problem is there is no clear ladder to climb. We have ordinances in place to help retain and uplift employees, but in the two years I've been here, I have yet to see them utilized. Ordinance 21-29 is a great example. It's within pay grade salary increases. It states the intent of this section is that employee salaries shall have first priority in the budget process except for any debts. If we can get a clear line of progression in regards to pay, the retention issues will be handled and recruiting will be easier. Happy employees will spread the word, spiking more interest in opportunities for possible applicants. A STEP program would be a fantastic option as well. This program is already in use in other departments, for example, police, fire, and corrections. And without some form of progression in salary, this becomes a dead end job. Hopefully these points will guide you in this upcoming vote. Thank you for your service and thank you for your time.